Hello there! Welcome to my channel and my blog. We are Crafted in His Image. It has been a little while, but I am back with our Technique Tuesday, and we have been going through alphabetically. And today we are on the letter H, and H is going to stand for a half cut die cut. So this is the die that goes with this particular stamp right here, and normally then it would cut out the entire little frame, the whole easel and uh, art and everything, but I only wanted to cut out this top portion so that when I fold the card up like this, it actually stands up like that. Can you see? So I'm going to show you how to do that. I've actually done it in a few other videos before, but we're going to re revisit this technique today. And I've actually made this into a post-it note holder. You can see I've got some little post-it notes on here. And this would be really, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, really pretty to sit on your desk. Or you can gift this to somebody and have them set it on their desk to just show how much they inspire you. So let's get started. It's a pretty quick one to do, I think. Um, we are going to use uh, markers today. We have I've not used my markers very often. Um, I don't think I've used it very often in our videos at all. So we are going to start with this stamp here. <coughs> now a couple of uh, a tip for you while you are doing this. If you are using the photopolymer stamps and you find that your ink is kind of beating up on the stamp and then when you stamp down you don't get a really great image um, what you might want to do is before you go to stamp especially if it's a brand new stamp set is take an eraser like I have one of these retractable ones here and erase over the whole surface of the stamp and then clean that off and it kind of removes some residue that's on there from the the manufacturing process and it'll help so that when you do your ink it doesn't t do that little uh, where it all beads up into little puddles. It keeps it smoother on there. So <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and put all of the stamps that I need out onto blocks right now. I should have done that earlier. There's my flowers. I'm going to use, actually I don't need the little flowers. I do need the You Inspire Me. I can use a smaller block for that. Um, I think that's it yeah just those three so let me move this out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and color this and I am like I said I'm gonna use markers I have quite a few of them out here I'm gonna start with a gray so that my <coughs> the little clip at the top looks like it's silverish holding my paper on to my easel and then my easel is gonna be brown and so there's a little bit here and here and then the rest of it's going to be all of this. And you see you just take, now this does not work with our Stampin' Blends. Don't, any alcohol-based marker, this technique doesn't work. You need a water-based marker for this to work, to stamp directly, or to marker directly onto your stamps. Then I'm going to use the black. Just kind of, you notice I'm using the side of the marker, not necessarily the tip, although right here I am going to use the tip because I don't want to get to that brown. But most of the time, it just goes faster and it does less damage on your marker if you use the side. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I know this sounds really weird, but I'm going to huff on it. I'm just going to kind of breathe. And that little bit of moisture from your mouth, from your um, your breath, is going to help re-moisten anything that might have started to dry. I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle-ish of the front of my card. And there we have the easel. Now we need to put some flowers on that easel. So again, I have my flowers here and I'm going to color them in. Uh, anytime I'm using yellow or orange, I do tend to like to use that first so that it doesn't pick up any other colors that might be touching it because then you will discolor your marker tip. There we go, so I got some orange in the middle. Two of my flowers are going to be, I think this is Moody Mauve, one of our new in colors. Is it in color or is it a regular color? I don't remember, it's one of the new colors and we have a lot of new colors this year. <clears throat> 
I'm just going to color this in. I don't have my cheaters on at the moment, so it's kind of hard for me to see this. There we go. Got that one colored in. And then I'm going to come in with some boho blue on the other two flowers. I don't know if I need all of these. Oh yes, I did use all of those colors. There we go. And then I have, what color is this? This is Old Olive. I'm going to come in and color my leaves. And I am going to come in with a little bit of Mossy Meadow and just add a little bit more dark color right at the base of my leaves. Maybe go a little bit down the middle. And then you could stamp this directly. Um, however, I am going to do a little trick. I'm going to try to make this look more like a watercolor. I'm just bringing this over here just so I don't get water everywhere. And use my little water spritzer. And I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water right onto my block. You can't see that on there. This was just to keep it from getting all over my paper on my background. I suppose I could have used this plastic piece instead. Anyway, I've got a little bit of water on here, and so now I'm just going to take it and stamp down. And if you can see the difference, this one was stamped without any extra water, and this one was stamped with, so it gives it makes it look more like it was a watercolor painting. I will put some close-up pictures of this on the blog. I don't know if I come in closer, you won't be able to. I'll have to change my focus. Let me switch my focus here. If you can see. So watercolory with the water spray. This one was out. And I haven't done the yellowy background on this one here yet, but you can see the difference in the two with the spray and without the water. So I would recommend that you practice on a scrap piece of paper if you're going to use the water because you need to try to get the right amount of water. Um, if you you don't spray enough or if you spray too much so I would practice doing that on because I have several of these spritzers of waters and each one spritzes a little different some spritz really heavy some not so heavy so practice that okay then I want to put the you inspire me and I'm going to do that with marker as well one thing I always forget I don't put the lids on my markers when I'm in the middle of a project and then I end up marking up my hand because I pick it up and don't realize the lid's not on there. There we go. I usually wait. I, I kind of set it like that, but I don't necessarily snap it on until I'm all done. And then I end up, yeah, making a mess all over my hands. <clears throat> there we go. You inspire me. Now I think I'm done, so I'm going to make sure those are all closed. Put a little bit of moisture on there and stamp. Ta-da! Now I have already stamped and die cut out two of the little flowers so I need to reach across here, grab my dimensionals, <clears throat> get some of these little teeny tiny ones. One and two. And actually, before I put those on, I need to score this. So, <coughs> um, I'm going to bring in my scoring tool here. And now, I've already scored this at the halfway mark, five and a half inches. I know you can't see that on the screen, but I have scored that right there. Now, I want to put a score line here in the middle. And so, I'm going to go two and three quarters. And I am just going to score up to my my paper quote unquote my little canvas there and i'm going to need to stand up so that i can see there's a line on our scoring blade i'm sorry my head is going to get in the way and i want to make that line line up with the edge of my paper or my canvas there we go because you don't want to score across the stamped image you just want to go right up to it okay so that part is done now we need to die cut this out. So here's where our half die cut comes in. My sandwich. I have base number one, 
Where's the number? There's number one, number two. I have a cutting mat, just like normal. Then I'm gonna bring in my paper and my die, line it up properly. And then I am gonna use a piece of washi tape just to kind of hold this still so it doesn't shift on me when I go and do this. There we go. And then I'm gonna pull this out a little because what I wanna do now, I'm gonna put this on top, but I only wanna put it on this top half here, just this section here. And there is a little bevel and I'm putting that beveled edge right, pretty much right where my score line is. <clears throat> And then I'm going to run this through the machine. Whoops. We're not lined up properly. Oh. Stay put. I need to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Run that through. <coughs> and then move this out of the way. this off. I'm going to wash the tape off carefully so I don't tear my paper. And let's see what we have. So we're going to go ahead and fold this here. And I do need my bone folder. <coughs> and then this one's going to get folded again. there we have see how that just now just the top part of it has been cut out and so now it will pop up now we want to make sure that it's going to stay up so in order to make it stay up I have a piece of boho blue that I have cut to fit on here and I'm going to grab a piece of <clears throat> our foam adhesive strips maybe if I can get it out of my packaging there we go I'm going to go across one top and paper snips. There they are. I'm actually going to do two of them on here. A little bit further down. There we go. And then <clears throat> I found it's easier to go ahead and put this on now before it's on here. So I'm going to use I could just peel this off the back here. But I think I'm gonna use a piece of tear and tape. Oh, excuse me. Or even actually just stamp and seal plus would work just fine. I'm gonna do it top and bottom of that base. And this is actually a half of a stack of post-it pad. And so let me just check and see where it's gonna go. Kind of centering that and then flip it over. And this is why I wanted to do it now so I could flip it over and really make sure that that's adhered without bending this piece of paper too much with it being up on dimensionals on this side. So that is adhered on. And then the next one, <clears throat> I, again, now that it's on here, I can't really, I can put adhesive on here, but it's a little bit more difficult because it's gonna bend. So I'm gonna put my adhesive down across the bottom of my card right there take my backings off of here and then line up the bottom of the card the two pieces should line up really well there we go and then stick the top down and now we have a little ledge for this to catch on right there can you see it like that how it just can catch right on there so before I finish though, I've got my two little flowers. And you can put these wherever you want. I just thought they were kind of cute. Add a little something to the bottom. And this is a pretty quick card or a little gift to put together that to give out to somebody. It won't, doesn't take a whole lot. And there we have our finished little card oh, every time I lean it back it wants to fall apart 
but I don't know if you can see. Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot. Hold on. Let me fold this out here. On this one, I thought my flowers needed a little something to ground them on there. So I used, um, I actually used wild wheat on the first one, but I think I'm going to go with crushed curry. No, I think I want a little bit lighter yellow. Let's go with, what is this one? Ooh, the new lemon lolly. That looks good. Let me get out of yellow. <coughs> And I'm going to pull over a scrap piece here off the side so I can tap because I don't want a lot. I just want a little, a little bit of yellow back there to kind of ground those flowers, give them a background. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Close that up. Alright, let's see now. Let's compare the two. One and <laughs> it's hard to do it when you want to lift it up like this so you can see the difference in them. What do you think? I hope you like this project. This shows you another way to use our dies where you only want to cut out half of the die rather than the whole thing. And yeah, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this project and you have a wonderful time and God's love and blessings. Bye.